Hey guys, uh, thanks for coming back and welcome to my uh, shop. So, um, you know, I, I did this video because I figured I like sharing uh, my, my hobby with other people. Um, when I find something, I'm excited and, you know, other than people at my club and that I fly with and the guys I'm with, I, uh, I figured I'd just make this video to show people uh, the difference. When I was in uh, fabric covering, when I was looking around, uh, I'm always used to uh, the, the the main products and SIG um, products. I've, I've had good luck with SIG products, um, but uh, I uh, also wanted to try stuff that I've heard like on the internet with the uh, the polycrylic and uh, dress liner, and then I came across. Um, this which has obviously been around for years and I uh, just came up on it now because I, I wanted to get back into doing um, fabric covering I uh, I did planes um, about a year ago uh, two years ago I did a B25 Mitchell an 80 inch uh, 17 pound warbird and um, I was just really happy with it I it came out great I used uh, this the coverall from SIG and I used uh, nitrate. I did not have to use butyrate because uh, it was uh, just an electric plane. Yes, a 17 pound electric plane. Anyway, um, so here's my uh, uh, my findings. I I'm gonna start with the um, the dress liner and the uh, polycrylic uh, tack down with the premium type on yellow type glue. Um, as you can see, we had a little bit of problems. Um, this piece is the 100% polyester, and um, I tacked it down with the uh, the wood glue, and it, it took a long time to dry. Obviously, it's yellow glue, um, and then it didn't hold up too well just uh, on this flat surfaces. Imagine if I would have went around the corner, it would have had more to bite onto, and it would have been more solid. And maybe if I didn't rush it, it probably would have been a lot more solid. So. Using yellow glue tacking fabric down is, a, is an option. It's just that you're going to have to 100% completely wait for it to dry. Um, the, uh, the fabric uh, shrunk uh, quite well. However, it didn't shrink uh, as well as the other um, fabrics for uh, airplanes. Um, the, uh, the polycrylic um, brought this, which was, you saw the other video, very soft pliable polyester to a state where it's um, like the SIG was when I didn't put the, the butyrate on or the um, the polyfiber uncertified light uh, it was this was the stiffest this was medium and this was um, the softest um, the polycrylic left it at a state where I'd say the SIG coverall was to start off with um, it filled the weave quite well. Um, you could see my fingers coming through. Um, it should have been better than that as far as the tightness and as far as, um, you know, being a little bit more taunt. Uh, that was just poor modeling on my behalf. Um, cheapness, I mean, you know, hey, 100% polyester, Joanne Fabrics, uh, polycrylic. Um, you could get all this stuff locally where you live. And, um, you know, it'd be quite the thing to have. If you want to just do, try it. I mean, you know, maybe a cheap airplane to try to cover. Um, obviously, uh, uh, with the SIG coverall, I, I got a little aggressive with the heat gun, and I shouldn't have done it. I uh, did one side here with the, um, the polycrylic, and this is showed here, and this side is with the, the butyrate. Uh, once again, the polycrylic, I mean, it really filled up that fiber quite well. And, um, you know, I had a little bit of drippings, uh, put a little too much butyrate on this one side. And obviously, I screwed up with the heat gun. I shouldn't have uh, did it. And it melted the fabric, uh, trying to get some of the wrinkles out. Uh, taunt um, went down with the, uh, the, the SIG, uh, sticks it. Um, beautiful. It never came undone. It dries quickly. You tack it down with a heat gun and voila. Uh, this is butyrate and this is the, uh, the poly finish. This almost feels like it's finished. Whereas I know I'd have to put another two 
uh, quite possibly three more coats on just to fill the weave. Whereas the polycrylic, it um, it felt it almost the first time. I, I would I would go from brushing that on to um, just a, maybe lightly spraying another coat on, and then we come to um, the uh, the polyfiber system with the uncertified light. Obviously, I bought the uh, the the pink tinted uh, gallon because I have, which I'll show you up in my hanger. I got um I got two PA um, uh, Piper Cubs that I'm going to cover. They're still uh, you know built built as two of the fuselage and one of the wings, and um, so that's the reason why I got a gallon of it and so much polytac. You don't, certainly don't need that much to do a small airplane, but I'm doing two large, one third scale airplanes. Um, this. This they definitely came out the best. Um, I was really impressed with it. It's just super taunt. Uh, the polytac, uh, you basically uh, um, wet the wood surface where it's gonna the, the fabric's gonna attach. Put the fabric right down on it, and then uh, take your finger. Obviously, have some gloves on or a brush, and then work the uh, the fabric right into uh, the um, the polytac. And then quite possibly brush it in some more. It dries super fast. I mean, really fast. And it, it just doesn't come undone. It's just really taunt. And this is uh, very good too. And unfortunately, the, the fabric it didn't come out that well. But anyway, um, and then I, I figured, you know, I'm going to put some of that, again, this, the cheap stuff, Minwax Polycrylic. I'm gonna try that and see how that felt. I'm, I'm really impressed with the, the polycrylic. It's um, it's almost like I wished I would have just bought the uh, the polyfiber fabric, and you've just went with the polyfiber uh, fiber fabric, the the light, and the poly tack, and and went with the uh, the minwax polycrylic. Um, again, uh, filled up the fibers really, really well. Um, uh, I, I would brush it on once and then and then spray it uh, It just it, it was really really nice. I really liked it um, now uh, in defense of the uh, poly brush the poly brush has a um, a much smoother uh, finish uh, definitely would uh, do the same like I would the butyrate or the uh, the nitrate uh, spray one more coat on there. There's no way I'd get by with just one. I only brushed one coat on. Um, you could you could see the brush marks. Um, you cannot feel the brush marks though. That's just it. it it's very smooth. Um, same thing with the uh, poly uh, poly acrylic. But anyway, guys, those are the differences that I found. Uh, I'm really impressed with this uncertified light for the polyfiber. Um, I like that a lot. Um, okay, here's the uh, the typical um, coverall, SIG coverall. Um, it's very light, um, but what good is a light fabric if you got to keep on filling it just to fill the weave? This is very coarse. Um, it, it definitely needs a lot more nitrate to fill in there, whereas this... This, this weave is so dense uh, compared to the SIG, um, it really doesn't need to be filled at all anymore. Um, I'm really, really impressed with that polycrylic. I don't know what if it's um, if it's uh, fuel proof. I have to do some more research on it. But those those are my findings. Um, any comments, questions, guys, give me um, a holler. Uh, I'll try to answer and. Um, Hey, I hope this was informative, and uh, you have a good day. Bye-bye.